everybody and welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel if you already have been here before. Um, today we are going to start a new project pan and in this case there will be a my project polish for 2021. Last year I started this project and I think in March or April I sort of started stopped filming completely until the end of the year and by that time I just gave up on all of my projects. So this year I want to make it actually throughout the whole year. I am not sure if I will be making monthly or bi-monthly updates because I don't know how much of a progress I will be having. But either way I do want to and intend to um, make sure to show you my progress on the nail polishes that I have chosen to work on throughout this year. Um, I divided it into four polishes and two of them are bigger full size sort of and two of them are smaller nail polishes and I'm hoping to kind of work on the big ones throughout the whole year so I do get some of the bigger ones out of my collection. So for this year this is what my color wheel will be looking like to begin with and these are the shades that I will be working on. So the first shade here is the one that you see on my nails right now. It is this beautiful kind of mauve shade, sort of kind of hinting towards purple. And this one is from Yves Rocher in the shade number 10, Rose Hortensia. And this is what the bottle looks like. And I am starting with this one brand new. It is all the way up there. I just got it this December in a... Um, Yves Rocher advent calendar so I this is the first time I'm wearing it on my nails and this is where I am now where I'm starting to work on this it is a beautiful shade um, really good quality it contains five milliliters or 0 0.16 fluid ounces so it is a smaller nail polish not a small size this is the full size of their nail polishes so smaller um, but still full size for them um, and I'm hoping to get through this one quite quickly maybe two or three months if I am really good with painting my nails which I am not allowed to do for work so I am not allowed to paint my nails when I work I am mm, that's only my toenails is okay but um, when I'm at work and I don't have many days off, so this will be a challenge, so to speak. The next nail polish in a row here is this. It looks sort of white, but it is more of a kind of muted, very, very light pink off-white shade. And this one is from Aiden in the shade number six. So this is what that one looks like. It is a very kind of milky shade with a hint of pink. And I am starting all the way up there on the bottle. So this one is completely full. It is the one that I have on my ring finger. Um, I had to put on three or four coats to get it to show up on the color wheel. So yeah, um, not the best quality. I really don't like these nail polishes, but I have a few. So I'm going to get through them hopefully. And I want to start off with this one to get it out of my collection. The next one in line here is this beautiful glittery yellow glitter nail polish. It can be used as a topper and it can also be used as a nail polish on its own. This is about three or four layers to get it this opaque. But this one is from China Glaze and the shade is Copa Banana. And this is what that nail polish looks like. And I am starting all the way up there, so this is just going to get worse and worse because the bottle actually tapers out. So yeah, this will be a long-term project for this year. Um, I really like this nail polish, it is quite beautiful. I've had it in a few videos previously, so I've already started to use it a little bit. But this is for this project where I am starting from. And this one has... 14 milliliters or 0.5 fluid ounces. The other one from Aiden has 6 milliliters, so it is slightly bigger than this one. And the last nail polish I will be working on 
starting off with this project is this beautiful light green shade right here and this one also took about three layers to get this opaque and this one is from OPI in the shade How Does Your Zen Garden Grow? That is a long name but this is what the nail polish looks like and I didn't do any markings because actually it is full to the brim and then some so for that reason I didn't do any markings on this one um, because I couldn't see it's all the way to the top and then some so this one is completely full it has 15 milliliters or 0.5 fluid ounces so pretty much the same as this one they are equally as big and this is also going to be a long-term type of commitment for me to go through um, I look forward to use all of these four nail polishes up and yeah this is what my color wheel looks like as of the start of 2021 and I will try to use nail polish for as much as I can because I do want to have at least these four out of my collection by the end of the year. So that was it for this intro. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you want to follow my progress along with me um, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe if you already haven't. I would love to have you here more often and I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye!